Let's read through the description first. Robotron Reloaded. It's a fan game sequel to the original arcade classic Robotron 2048. This time it's less action oriented and more puzzly, but I hope it's equally fun. See, if it can make your way through 14 levels of madness to find the ultimate prize at the end, try the no lives mode if you get stuck. It's still challenging, but you get to experience the whole game. This game is a twin stick shooter that uses both WASD and the arrow keys. If you're left handed, you can change the control scheme using control Y. Oh, how pleasant of you to do that. And configure player 1 and player 2's directional control. Please do let me know if you get to the end. Concept by Chase A. Michael. Game pro developed, scored, and designed by Nick Farrow. Additional testing by Doug Bennett and Chase Michael. Um, is this supposed to be a two player game? Um, I don't remember. Reading through the description. No, nope, it's just this double click and run. Alright, well, let's get to it. <clears throat> sure. Hopefully it's showing the screen. Yep. Did that actually do anything? Oh yeah, it's it's doing thing. We're walking and shooting. Her. Someone gave you Reddit gold, said Batman ASB. What do I do with it? You eat it. It's actually filled with chocolate. I don't think it's doing anything. Oh, because it wasn't. There it is. ROM check. RAM check. Title of data loaded. Verifying checksum pokey. A loading random data generator. Yeah. Uh, press A for normal mode, Z for the really harsh mode. Welcome to Robotron, reloaded tutorial. Do use the WASD to move. Use the arrow keys to shoot. Right now you only have a pellet gun. Here come some enemies, try destroying them with your guns. Okay, you shoot a lot. Good job! You can use money collected to kill robots to upgrade yourself each round. Good luck! Um... Okay. Do I click? Oh yeah, I do. Oh wow. Neat effect. Make sure you do not let them encase you. Don't worry about screwing up at first. You have 11 lives. Um, let you travel faster. A helper bot that shoots for you. Deals damage to all red robot men on screen. Don't be afraid to spam it. Reactor increases the speed of bullets. Uh, minigun increases the fire rate. Blaster increases the size of your bullets. I'm gonna see if I can go for the blaster. Oh, okay. Interesting way to tutorialize that. I do... I'm not entirely sure that I also have to, uh... Go to the next wave. Okay. Neat. 
Nicely done, but can you handle the spawners? Kill them before they reproduce. Um. Increases the speed of your bullets. I guess the intent is that you're supposed to get grab this as soon as possible. Um, speed up would be useful. Oh yeah, a lot more useful. doing well on the spawning business. Alright. Fine, let's try that. That didn't do anything. I wish a player wasn't the same color as enemies. Yeah. I don't have that many lives left. Wait, what? Darn it. I didn't even notice. Fine. Oh, I shoot right through the spawners, it sounds like. What? What happened? Is it actually possible to beat this level? Oh, whoops. I was able to somehow kill that spawner. Okay, I get it now. The tick is to play without lives. Smart buttons are like violence. If it doesn't work, use more of them. Clear or stand clear? I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, 
uh, what happened. Why am I still playing? Oh, uh, what did I do? What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Have any bombs? All right. Did nothing. Uh, all right, fine. I'll try that again. Can I skip this? Shooting sound gets really repetitive. Um, I would like to speed up very soon. Oh, whoops, that's right, I forgot about this. This level. What? How did the spawners? run right through me. There we go, I think I got rid of all the spawners. Alright, cool, 80. Alright, that gives me the speed up boost, which I'll need. Uh, smart bombs, alright, violence, oh, I'll need that. supposed to walk on top of those. Cool. All clear or stand clear? Um, okay.
There we go. This is going much more nicely than I expected. There we go. Uh, light the fuse. Um, increases the size of your bullet. Increases the bullet fire rate. Uh, let's find out what this is like. Okay. This maze is a little tricky. Try not to die. I guess you knew that already. Um, alright. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm not really sure how any of these help. Go up to cheat. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, I guess that doesn't work for me. That didn't work to me either. Hmm. Oh. What am I thinking? Okay. Nope, that didn't work. I am never getting past that. Ah, uh, well. Third, big boss immune to normal shots. Um, it's interesting in concept. I do like the um, I do like the fact that you have these invincible enemies and then you just have to kill the rest of them. But then there's a point where I feel like I was really overwhelmed. Um, especially at that maze thing. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that portion. But yeah, okay, well, let's talk about this. Um, innovation, I give you that you added puzzle into the game, which I didn't expect out of that, which I th actually think uh, adds a lot more to the variety to the game. Um, but obviously, you know, it's just a twin stick shooter. I did find this to be very fun. Um, heck, I'll give it all five stars because I did find that so uh, the formula to be very solid. Uh, the theme is fairly normal take on it. <laughs> but I wasn't going to tell him that the graphics uh, the graphics were pretty solid I like I did like the audio uh, I think I could have used a little more pitch variations between the sound effects um, I guess there was some humor but I didn't really it didn't really strike me as you know particularly funny but that's all right and I did find that the mood was pretty solid I say it's a very solid entry for me um, I don't feel it to be perfect when it comes to presentation. Uh, the sound effect to me is the probably the biggest downfall, which I realize it's trying to be like very old school on purpose, but like it that does get you know that does get grading. Um, it, there's there's to a point with trying to look old school that I think things start to take a hindrance. Other things starts to get. Um, start to hurt the product as an end result. And, uh, you know, repetitive sound effects is one of those. Um, I did like, for the most part, the game, though. It did feel very solid to me. Um, very solid game. Had a lot of fun. Um, I felt like the sound effects 
could have used some more variety. Don't have much other complaints otherwise. Um, uh, definitely goes for the old school feel and succeeds in it. Cool. And then as promised, I'll go for the key. This